Hello everybody, it's Sarah and today I'm going to do the Shadow Hunters tag. I saw this tag on Vanessa's channel Paper Fairy last week and I knew I just had to do it, so here I am. This video will contain spoilers, so you should have read at least Immortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. There might also be some spoilers for Lady Midnight, The Bane Chronicles and the Tales from Shadowhunter Academy. But if there are spoilers for those books, I'll tell you beforehand. So let's go. First question. Do you prefer the Mortal Instruments or the Infernal Devices? For me personally, I prefer the Infernal Devices because I just like the characters in that series a bit more. However, I get the feeling that I will love the Dark Artifices even more. Question number two is my OTP and it's a tie between Alec and Magnus because those two are just so cute as well as Cecily and Gabriel from the Infernal Devices because I just love those two as well. Question number three is which character would I marry? And until March I would have said Chem Carstairs because I just love Chem Carstairs. But ever since I read Lady Midnight I think I am going to say Julian because I love Julian even more. And that is hard, that is a really really hard thing to do. Question number four is what type of downworlder would I be? And I thought about this question a lot and I think I would be either a warlock or a fairy. I would want to be a fairy because I just think fairies are awesome and really cool and I love fairies. But in terms of what downworld I would most likely be is probably a warlock. Question number five is which is my favorite moment in the series, all the series, and it was really hard to pick so I picked one for the mortal instruments and one for the infernal devices and my pick for the mortal instruments is the moment in the third book when everyone is going like around and they're putting those alliance runes on each other and Alec goes up to Magnus and kisses him in front of everyone and that was just such a cute moment. It was, it's probably one of my favorite moments ever that I have ever read about from all books. And the other one from the Infernal Devices, it's just a really stupid moment but it's also in the third book, at the very end, when Will comes to rescue Tessa and they end up having sex and Will doesn't know how to open a corset. That was just so hilarious. So it is also on my top 10 list of favorite moments from those series. Question number six is which family would I be a part of? And that's so hard because I feel like I'm not sassy enough to be a Lightwood and I'm not broken enough to be a Herondale and I'm not artsy enough to be a Fairchild. I thought about it and I think I'd probably, or at least that's what I want to be, a Branwell because I love Henry and I don't know enough about this family to say I am a Branwell or I'm not a Branwell so I just I'm going to say I want to be one but I'll probably know after I read the last hours anyway so that's the family I choose. Question number seven is Chase or Will? For some reason I feel like this question implies that the choice for ultimate boyfriend, ultimate fictional boyfriend is either Chase or Will which is just not true. They're both pretty low on my list of fictional boyfriends but if I had to choose between the two I choose Will because even though I feel like they are both pretty similar I feel like Will is just a bit less self-destructive and self-loathing. Question number eight is Chessa or Wessa. I hate ship names. I can't deal with ship names and Although I was happy with the ending, I was happy that she ended up with both of the two. 
I have to go with Chessa because if she had ended up with only one of them, I feel like I could have dealt with it better if she hadn't chosen Will. Question number nine is who would I bring back to life? And obviously this is a very spoilery question. There will be a spoiler from the Tales of Shadowhunter Academy. The first person I would bring back is Max because I feel like we got to see not enough of him. I thought he was such a cute little boy and it was so tragic that he couldn't live his full life. But this death didn't infuriate me as much as the second death because I feel like it served the plot. The second death is of Tales from Shadowhunter Academy and it's George Lovelace. I fell in love with this guy when reading those short stories. I really did. I loved him so much and it was so unnecessary that he died at the end i wanted to see more of him i wanted him to become a shadow hunter i wanted simon to leave clary and become Bar parabatai with george but it wasn't to be and the last question question number 10 is who would be my best friend and i am tempted to say Tessa, but I feel like I would be even better friends with Charlotte Branwell. She's such a cool character. I just love her so much and so I would really love to be her best friend. And that was it for this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me your answers in the comments down below and I hope I'll see you guys soon. Kiss kiss!